Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs today with a little addition to Dave Jones multimeter shootout from two or three weeks ago, which you might have seen. Um, now, in fact, we got uh, this thingy here of unknown origin and quality, uh, which has where all the functions have more or less died in the last uh, years or month. And so this is not usable anymore. I didn't like it very much from the beginning <laughs> where I found it in a drawer here. Uh, but anyway, it had quite a lot of functions, um, like not only the usual measurements, but also a current measurement range and capacitor mode. So it was quite okay. And it must have been sitting here for more than five years. But now it's time to get rid of this because, as I told you, um, it doesn't work anymore in most of the ranges. So I thought um, the multimeters that Dave Jones tested, uh, there was not a single one which convinced me totally to buy it. So I took a look around. Um, what was available from our local distributors and I found this uh, Unity UT120C coming in this uh, transparent box which is when you use it in the box of course not fitting into your usual standard shirt pocket anymore. Um, I have a bit of a disturbed relationship to Unity because every single device I ever bought from them or got hold of, uh, it had one or more annoying features. So Unity is a company uh, that sells mostly in the low to mid range test and measurement equipment and they are known for a good bang for buck ratio concerning the functionality of their test devices but I have the suspicion they are a typical Chinese company where I think the creators of the devices they never work with their own devices otherwise they would be just as annoyed as I am and let's see if this thing here which sells for between 10 and 20 euros depending on if you buy it from a vendor including tax or if you buy it directly from China via eBay or AliExpress or something like that without taxes. Um, so it's quite cheap and um, the functionality is relatively good as you can see it has relative mold holds and um, ACDC measurement of course for voltage but also for uh, it has a microamps and milliamps range going I think to um, 400 uh, milliamps even fused and it's even stated as cat 2 600 volts it has uh, 4000 counts so uh, it's quite okay um, and let's take this thing out of this strange transparent box which I don't like very much. Let's see, first thing that interests me are the test probes relatively sharp and I think yeah, you can work with that. They are reasonably sharp and let's see the most important thing for me in a multimeter is the continuity tester and let's see and yeah this is this one is barely audible i don't know if you can hear it over uh, my microphone but this is so low volume that it's nearly unusable um if you have anything like i mostly have music or radio or something like that running in the background and the, it, it, it's apparently not a latching type. So the first test here using the continuity mode, which is at least 50% of the usage of a multi multimeter by me is uh, using the continuity mode. And yeah, that's unusable, not loud enough. And um, 
the time it takes until it you can hear the sound is uh, just too long. So already the first test shows that this thing is unusable. So what what use do you have if, if you have so many functions like the capacity test and frequency measurement uh, and duty cycle measurement things that you are uh, using perhaps 1% of the time when the most important thing is nearly unusable. So nevertheless, let's uh, take a quick look inside and uh, see how the build quality is inside. So let's open up this thing. Ooh, even uh, a threaded insert. And yeah, as you can see, it's powered by a lithium coin cell CR2032. A little bit of input protections with a polyfuse, I think, as we call it here. Yeah, it must be 400 milliamps and 250 volts in for the current range. So, uh, all in all, four little trimmers. So astonishing that they have four trimming points and can sell this thing for under 20 bucks. So let's see. By the way, the feel of the rotary switch is relatively good. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing out. And uh, by the way, the, the accuracy of this thing is around 1% depending on the ranges. So for me, this is not imp so important for a pocket multimeter and 1% is more than enough. And let's see. Okay, nothing special. Perhaps it would be possible. Here we have the piezo uh, buzzer uh, nearly integrated <laughs> into the LCD. Uh, it doesn't, to get this thing a bit louder, perhaps using another type with, uh, which could be a bit louder. Um, so anyway, the rotary switch looks relatively good. This is not gold plated, it's pure copper as it looks like. I don't know if this thing will ever corrode or for copper it's mostly sulfidation. Um, or however you want to call it. It's usually the uh, hydrogen sulfide in the air that, that makes copper tarnish. And so the PCB looks relatively good. Um, the build quality is relatively good. But as with every single Unity device I ever got my hands on, uh, there's something to complain about the usability and in this case it's just the very important continuity mode. We even have a little protection here. What is it? A metal oxide varistor probably? Mark or is, it, or is that the current shunt? I don't know. It's Mark is 102 so is it 100 ohms or something like that? Um, However, so a uh, nice little thing concerning the features, but for me, well, it was worth a try for all in all 20 euros, I think that's what I paid. And uh, again, to have, as with every single Unity device, a bad experience concerning the usability. So anyway, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye from Roger. 
apart from Kanker Labs.